Astros are leading the Seattle Sounders 5 to 1 in the second half. 71,000 in the Meadowlands today for a replay of Soccer Bowl 77. Now here's Stanovich breaking in. Stanovich gets around Whalen. Stanovich with a shot. He scores! Mike Stanovich! What a great play that was! He got around Tony Whalen and let it fly. Well, Wayne, uh, Greg and Popovich told me just before game time that uh, if Stolle could just break uh, that nemesis here, that bad that jinx that he's been suffering all season, all he has to do is punch in that one goal, and then we'd be seeing the Stolle of old. And it just seems that that adage has come true. Here we go, because Mike Stolle has demonstrated his true ability here this afternoon in scoring another fantastic, beautiful goal, put the Lancers ahead 3-0, and giving us nine points. Especially in the second half, he's been playing super. Stanovich getting credit for his fourth goal of the season. Horvath getting the assist. Now the ball back in the Lancer zone. On off his head to Bellata. Bellata sweeps it over for Erkeley. Erkeley back to Bellata. Bellata. Bellata pushes it forward. Everybody being closely marked right there. And it's going to be a throw in for Lauderdale as it finally goes across the touchline. Roland gives it to Ridley. Ridley. Up to Ray Hudson. Hudson clears it back to goalkeeper Gordon Banks. Wayne, that wasn't the only, only switch by a, a pop. Gives it to Palmieri. Palmieri into the left wing corner for Horbath. Horbath gives it to Balada. Balada with a shot. Scores! Oh, goal! 2 nothing, Rochester. Wayne, I think that Dragon Popovich has found the combination. Horvath originally played center pole or sweeper in Hungary. He put him at midfield, now he's got him up on the line, and the combination is working. It was a beautiful play there, uh, just that um, Horvath had a lateral pass to Bellata, outfaked the striker defense, and made a beautiful shot to the right-hand side of the goal. That's Bellata's fourth goal of the season. It's 2 to nothing, Rochester. We're looking for eight here now. And here comes Berkeley. He's broken up by Jim Steele. Regaining possession is Profunovic. Now it's Horvath. Up to Balata. The boot score. One nothing Rochester. Nice play. Nice play by the Rochester Lancers. It was Joseph Horvath on a through pass and a give and go. And you could smell something rotten in Denmark, Don, because Jim Steele was out of that backfield. You see Steele's out here right now. And he's tra chasing Balata. Steel outside of the sweeper spot. Nice through pass to Horvath. Horvath in, working on hitting. Beats Irwin to the left, right side of the goal. Goal, Rochester. Nice play, Rochester Lancers. 1-0, Horvath from Bolata. And we'll pick up the official time as soon as it's passed to us, but Horvath, the goal, and nothing was rotten. There's Tommy O'Hara. Once again, uh, immediately following Diplomat's action, the 10 o'clock news, WTTG Channel 5. Jackson Bain, Dolores Handy and company. Well, those folks, uh, well, the, yeah. games, the games we've had, Nick, uh, oh. have been going for quite some time here in the box. Drake, he heads it down right there. Oh, oh, he shoots yeah. and scores. Joe Horvath, left foot, puts it in. The Diplomats have taken a 2-1 lead. Mike, see what happens off free kicks. Once again, you know, Boyce fouled by Reynolds, a clear-cut foul. The Diplomats with a chance, and they just make the most of it. And you saw Draghi go so deep. Uh, Draghi, as we know, the sweeper, the defender. But you see it being set up here off the free kick, room to operate. Now watch this, the target area right down. I mean, just laid in there perfectly. Watch Draghi just use his size over here and his desire to win the ball. Headed back beautifully. Horvat has the goalkeeper just dead, just dead <laughs> aim on the keeper. And if he misses this one, Joe, I'll <laughs> tell you, you, you don't go to, back on a bus with us. You <laughs> looked at that and you kept saying to yourself, kick it, <laughs> yes. kick it, Joe, <laughs> kick it. <laughs> and it took forever, it seemed, because the diplomats have had so many problems finishing plays. And Joe Sephora that play. play. One, one, one. 
don't listen to me, guys. I'm checking the... Janssen will be taking the kick. Janssen cross it up in the box. Right. Oh, hold it in, hold it in. Great. Balls of fire. They got the right guy there, didn't they, Mike? The right guy. They got size in Joe Horvath, and they had him in the middle, and he refused to be budged out of there. It was in perfect position, and I don't think, you know, when we see it again here, how high did he really have to leap? It was a perfectly executed crosser. Yeah, good leap here, but, you know, Definitely out jumping and just winning the ball in the air, and it takes a lot of courage and tenacity and a whole bit. And Horvath just popped it home on the far side. You know something, Nick? In the time that I've seen uh, Horvath play over the past three or four years, I don't believe I've ever seen him go in the air to head the ball on the.